Hi Air Energies, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Uh, today we're going to take a look at whether your special person here is, go is going to come back into your life. So I guess this is more tailored to those of you who are in um, some sort of disconnection or some sort of separation from you and your romantic energy. These messages do remain general, but I'm guessing you already know that. If you are after a personal tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will drop my email address just below the video here in the show more section. So I'll go ahead and give the cards a shuffle here, and we'll see what the cards predict for you here. So will your person be coming back into your life? Will there be an opportunity to cross paths yet again? I mean the three of swords, I tell a lie. Uh, you've got the three of wands, the three of cups, the ten of swords. You do have swords nevertheless. Justice, the knight of swords, and the full card. Okay, so is your person coming back to you? Okay, three of wands tells me this is someone whom you've had plans with, okay? This is someone whom you've had future plans with. The two of you were... Uh, making plans and you were very much including each other in your future plans here. This is someone whom you saw a future with. This is someone whom perhaps you were ready to settle down with and you know you were ready to um, perhaps to have a you know to build a life with this person, move in together, um, have children together, get engaged, get married. I can see there was that energy of wanting to manifest those things and feeling as though this is the type of person you want to spend the rest of your life with. Okay, so a very special connection here. Um, a very special connection here. There was a very strong emotional connection between you and this individual. But I'm also getting with the Ten of Swords that for as much as they brought, you know, such a, um, a large amount of happiness into your life, this person also, they took away from that happiness. Because with the Ten of Swords, this is someone whom you felt really betrayed by. You felt backstabbed by this person. You felt betrayed by this person. There was lies. There was deceptions. There was greed. There was manipulation. It's a very uncomfortable energy. And I can see that this division or disconnection between the two of you is a very painful one. Things didn't end on a very civil manner. Some painful things were said. Some things I feel like which they regret saying. And some things maybe which you regret hearing or which you regret you know, saying back in return. So it was a very painful kind of ending here a very violent kind of ending right the three of cups tells me that this is a love that well it was a love that deserved to be celebrated okay or maybe sometimes this card has a tendency to show up here when someone here yourself the seeker is like uh, ready to you know ready to start opening up and start you know loving and just appreciating the beauty of love and romance here i'm seeing that there was a lot of um, happy times a lot of joyous occasions spent between one another those um, occasions that those monuments um, those uh, sorry moments were very instrumental in building that emotional connection that the two of you um, had here This is someone who speaks about you guys, okay? And this is someone who was truly uplifted by their presence. I'm seeing that there is connecting energies around this person. Um, that this person, I feel like, is... I'm seeing that there's someone who acts as a sounding board for them. It feels like a motherly figure. Or if not, it feels like a, a, sh like a feminine energy, a close friend, a co-worker, a mentor. This is someone who is was or is in complete adoration, like adoration of you, someone who was in awe of you here. He or she was very charismatic, a very positive type of person. Um, they're always laughing, chatting, or just always, you know, having a good time. 
Um, the Three of Cups tells me that the two of you, had you worked it out, you were bound to be happy. Then something took a turn for, right? Something took a turn for, I'm getting the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Swords. I feel like for some of you, communication wasn't the best, to be honest with you. And I feel like maybe you had two very different communication styles in which the two of you couldn't fit. I'm also seeing, as I'm, I'm also seeing, as I mentioned earlier, a possible web of lies, deception, betrayal. You feel as though this person, it's ultimately like this person has... They said or did something to you which you didn't necessarily foresee. Because notice how the Ten of Swords, you know, they are driven into the back of the figure here. So this is something we didn't see coming. So maybe the way that they treated you or, you know, the way that things ended, the abrupt kind of ending, you didn't necessarily see this coming. Even like you couldn't predict this here. Why do I also see a bit of an overindulgence in this person's energy? I don't know if it's an overindulgence in food, liquor or food, but I see an overindulgence here. Um, I also see this person talking about you here, and although I feel like this person is in awe, I'm also seeing, it's not like, it's, well, it's kind of like gossipy. I feel like they're trying to validate themselves or validate their actions or validate their feelings. Okay, so um, now moving on to what you're all here for is whether this person is going to come back into your life. Yes. I see this person coming back into your life. I see this person coming back into your life. However, um, it's a little bit more complicated than that. It's not just so, um, you know, black and white. There are patches of gray areas. In fact, a lot of patches of gray areas. Um, um, with Justice card, I feel like a situation here needs to be corrected. The scales need to be balanced because I feel like they have tipped and not necessarily in your favor. So. I feel like if this person does come back into their life, someone here is being, um, they're being called to account for their actions, okay? So uh, maybe you need to hold them accountable for their actions here. Or maybe someone here, I feel like they need to be held accountable and I'm getting the message that someone needs to be judged accordingly here. Because someone didn't act in the best manner here. Someone acted dishonest, someone acted like unfair, unjust, there's a lack of accountability as well around this person's energy. This person didn't act in alignment with their higher self. So now they're being called back. They will come back, but if you do not hold them accountable for their actions here, um, or if they don't act in alignment with their higher self, it's very likely that the two of you will go back into, you will just naturally slip back into the same patterns here. So, you know, you want to prevent that from happening. So, he or she needs to be called out, um, and they need to owe up to their actions. If this has your person shaking in their boots, then they're not ready. They're not ready to grow, evolve, level up, mature. There's a lack of readiness on their part. The Knight of Swords, I'm also seeing... I feel like this person comes back, but I feel like it's almost like they're going to waltz back into your life and just pretend like nothing ever happened. Pretend like they didn't hurt you, pretend like they didn't ghost you, pretend like, you know, the two of you didn't, didn't disconnect. They're going to want to try and act as normal as possible, which then, of course, makes it all the worse because they're not acting in alignment with their higher self. They're not taking accountability. They're not taking responsibility. You know, um, there's a lack of accountability for their actions and they're not owing up to their actions, are they here? So this person I feel like needs to, and be careful because with the Knight of Swords, I'm also seeing mental aggression from their energy, or is this your energy being the air sign? Um, I'm seeing um, like a heated argument, I'm seeing conflict, I'm seeing tension. Now it doesn't have to be verbal, it doesn't have to be mental. It could be a conflict that exists between the two of you and when this person comes back into your life, time, although it has the power to, um, it has the power to amend, um, you know, lots of things, I don't feel like time has erased the conflict or the tension that exists between the two of you. So this person comes back comes back and they want to act normal but I can see that this aggravates the situation further and I can see that this really will flare up your anger um, so it's important that this person and again I feel like some of you you feel like you're always the one who has to make you know decisions or you're always the one who act, has to make the the judgment that's best for the situation you feel like this person needs to be um, 
not babied, but you feel like you're always the one making decisions and what you want is for this person to step up and take accountability. Okay, if this person can show you that, I feel like the two of you can go on to have a rather healthy relationship. Yes, I can see some conflict needs to be resolved, but I also feel like, yeah, this person, um, they need to they need to be responsible for their actions and they need to stand accountable here for the consequences that follow those actions here. Some of you, I feel like this person comes back, but to be honest with you, your energy feels like you've already made your decision and unfortunately you moved on. You've released their energy here. Maybe this person coming back into the picture here for you gives you closure or it sort of allows you, you know, this whole correcting the scales or correcting the balance or, the, you know, the correcting the situation notion. Because the justice card, it shows up in your spread here when... Someone needs to make an important choice, but that important choice has lasting, like has potential for lasting ramifications or repercussions here. So be aware of the impact of your decisions. Okay, um, shooing them away when you still have feelings for them will hurt you, as will them coming back into the picture and pretending like nothing happened. So, you know, be very careful with your decisions. And also the other thing that I'm getting here, this person comes back, but will you stand by your decisions? Because there's something that you've told this person, and I get a sense of repetition with the Ten of Swords here. Um, there's something that you've said this person, but it feels like you've been here before with this person's energy, or it feels like you've given this person one too many chances. So it's almost like this person, it's not that they don't believe you, but it's kind of like it goes a little bit over their head. Um, and it feels like this person's energy is like, you need to stand you need to stand by your decisions. That's what I'm getting here. You need, be ready to stand by your decisions here. Um, and accept the consequences of your choice here. And this person, and um, I'm also getting the message for them that they need to be ready um, to stand by their decisions. If they want to commit to you, then they need to stand by their decisions and need to go ahead and commit to you. Otherwise, if not, I feel like much like the fool, this person is about to take the plunge, the plunge of the precipice, and they're about to plunge into the shadows of, well, what is right and what is wrong. Okay, guys, and that's all I have for you. Thank you, as always, for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting, or sharing. I, of course, will be sharing more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. And for those of you that do want that you know, personal reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed below. Bye for now.